हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन वाचिंग वेंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा The biggest story tonight is about the big divorce in India. Foxconn and Vedanta have parted ways. They were to set up a 20 billion dollar semiconductor plant in Gujarat, now they won't. This should have been a business story, but it's also political and geopolitical because Foxconn is a Taiwanese company. What led to the split? The details are still trickling out, and what does it mean for India's chip dream? We'll discuss that tonight in Lithuania, a U-turn by the Turkish president Erdogan. He's now supporting Sweden's NATO bid. What did he get in return? We'll tell you. Also, how do the odds stack for Ukraine? Will they get a NATO membership? And since we are asking questions, where is China's foreign minister missing for two weeks and counting? What is Iran's president doing in Africa? Why is this a crucial week for Sri Lanka? And how many millions did Indians pay for visas they never got? You don't want to miss this. The headlines first. The Kremlin puts France on notice vows strong response after Paris agrees to supply Kiev with long-range missiles. Russia calls the French decision a mistake and warns of consequences for Ukraine. Are war crimes being committed in the Sudan? Human Rights Watch asks the International Criminal Court to conduct an investigation in Darfur. The group claims the Rapid Support Forces are executing members of an ethnic minority. The army versus the paramilitary conflict has been raging in the Sudan for nearly 3 months now. Big win for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Parliament of Israel has given the initial nod to his judicial overhaul bill. The bill seeks to curb supreme court's powers netanyahu's bid to change the justice system has sparked nationwide protests saudi arabia comes to cash strap pakistan's aid once again riyadh makes a 2 billion dollar deposit to the state bank of pakistan it's a big boost to islamabad's abysmally low foreign exchange reserves this comes ahead of a key imf meet And look who's defending free speech. The Taliban wade into the Twitter versus Threads feud. See the Taliban official says Twitter is better for free speech. The Taliban government uses Twitter to make its announcements. Its accounts are routinely blocked by Threads owner Meta. And Lord Hanuman will be the official mascot of the Asian Athletics Championships. The game start in Thailand tomorrow. Hanuman is one of the most revered gods in India. <laughs> 